hooked up. I didn't get a girlfriend once I was in high school. But I'm not having any luck with that. Oh, loser. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Is there something wrong with me? Maybe, maybe you need to do some self-improvement. Try reading some books. Ooh. He just got shaded on. Read a book. <laughs> Brian Horizon see you're more things to talk about. You remember we desire we have more intelligent. I'll take hard work though. Won't happen overnight. Yeah, but books make me sleepy. As I can give it a go though and help make me more popular with the ladies. Like Mondao. It's the library where you go to borrow books. Nice. Reading books is an important way to expand your mind. Eh, books great. Got some books in the mail right now oh. coming in, so that's pretty cool. Apparently, read for free at the school library, so you should take advantage of that. In this bookstore is Central Street. Excuse me, I'm sorry for burping, guys. <clears throat> Let's get started. Hi there, everyone. I am Mr. Narita, your biology teacher. Dude, you look like you just came from France. <laughs> you must be shocked by what happened to. Uh, she hope it was shocked to me too although I can relate to how she felt her eyes were devoid of life as they lived upon this sad hopeless world well I suppose everyone's view on the world is different <laughs> views the world differently let's have a test <laughs> let's not have a test take a look at this diagram B or C which one is it it is C this is it you do know Correct, correct. Can your eyes see the truth? It's an optical illusion. Some people see it correctly, but some don't. Isn't it strange that they view the same image differently? Humans don't see the world as it is. It's simply a process of visual information with your brain. Everyone's like, oh, snap. Oh, it's a new because I should cut a smart Oh, ooh, oh, you know, that's just how that goes in class. When you stun all them haters. <laughs> really smart. You should ask questions like that. Get my proficiency up in that knowledge. Plus one. <laughs> oh, man. How you see the world is nothing more than a trick of the mind. It's all mere cognition. There's no proof that the world... Prove that the world each of us sees is the same. It's definitely not. How you see the world depends on your brain's cognition. Hmm. Optical illusions in the metaverse might be more similar than you think. Morgan, I'm gonna need you to calm the fuck down. <laughs> That's all I need to say about that. Just calm down. Like, we can't be like mixing up two different things in the real world in a video game. Can't be thinking about that. <laughs> ring, ring. Hey, where are you? Where are you right now? Uh, still in the classroom, dude. Why are you texting me? So that's cool, too. How about the staircase outside your classroom? Think about we should head into the palace today. I haven't decided yet. We got more important things to work on. Doug, more important things. Hey, I thought of something the other day when we were running around the palace. Maybe it's because I haven't been moving around a lot lately, but I feel like I'm getting weak. You probably run into some pretty tough shadows sometimes. We should try to get stronger, too. It's sunny outside. Perfect for training. So you want to get the butt pumping? Wow. See a lot in his mind. It's true that training by would be like to the count. Invitations. Okay. okay. You want to go to the palace? Uh, decide later. All right, continuing on to the hallway. Because we're actually gonna go hang with Ryuji real quick. All right. Let us actually... Hey, can we confirm this real quick? Yes, we can. All right, let's go do some warm-ups behind the gym then. Got some gym clothes. Dude, we about to do some calisthenics. Making all them beautiful gains. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. I will make a pull-up video if you need me to. <laughs> Man, this place brings back memories. This is the secret training spot. It was back when I was on the track team. Actually, I've been thinking about trying to run again. Well, we got to run a lot during those dungeons, dude. So, I mean, you know, just saying. 
fighting in that other role was a total shock. I couldn't move like I used to. It just felt lame. Which is actually the correct way of actually saying that. Fun fact. So I need. So I started thinking maybe I need to build up my muscles again. Anything's got to be better than that flimsy body, right? Plus, maybe then I'll be able to help her out a little bit more. Alright, right. <laughs> Count on you, dude. <laughs> Tell you, totally gotta break your expectations. I mean, that is in a good way. I hope so. Anyway, you gotta, you know, like you gotta do this. But we're going into it too. Come on, man. Uh, you don't look so surprised. Why do you think I had you go and change? It'd be pointless if I was the only one getting super fast, right? Alright, I'm gonna do some knee lift sprints. You're stuck with the normal ones. What the hell is a knee lift sprint? Is that like where you lift it all the way up? Mm. Break tire. Damn, my legs are all tight. Four Kimashiri. Four Kamashita. Came along. The track team was the biggest thing the school had going for it. But it all changed after he got our coach fired and took over as the sub. Oh man, that sucks. That bastard. Right from the very start, he was trying to get rid of us. He'd give us crazy workouts. Then when we couldn't do them, he'll add even more on top of it. <laughs> Would it do, homie? Head nod. Mm. What about Lady Cat? How you doing tonight? Day after day was nothing but that bullshit. Are you at work? He was going after me especially. Yeah, he knew. He knew I was kind of guy who would fight back. <clears throat> my time dropped even a little, he cursed me out. Then on top of that, he balled up to my parents. What about them? Trust me, my mom's the only one I got. All my dad did was still, when he was still around, was drink. Sometimes he'd even beat me or my mom. Dude, Ryan, you've been through some shit, man. I don't know how that bastard come here to find out, but he told the whole goddamn team. And as you guess, I lost it and hit him. It was like he wanted me to do that, though. He called it an act of violence and shut the team down. Man, that's that bullshit right there. Thanks to that, the other guys on the team treat me like some kind of traitor. And that ain't wrong. Because of me, they all lost their shot at their championship. Do you regret it? A little bit yes, and a little bit no. Come on, don't ask me that tough question like that. I'm not very smart, you know. <laughs> at least he's honest with himself. Anyway, it doesn't matter how. That's all in the past. Am I looking about the future now? And that's what we're going to do. Built the future. We gotta think positive thoughts, brother. <laughs> I'm at home since I'm in the living room. <laughs> you don't gotta rub it in, okay? You don't have to rub it in. <laughs> High five. I feel like my bond grew deeper weird. Thug, thug bond. Chariot. Baton pass. Yes. Oh my god, yes. I don't think I understand how good baton pass is. Like, when you don't have it, you just feel like you can't do things. All right. You're killing me. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Lady Cat? We're all warmed up, right? How about another run? Uh, by the way, you're actually pretty good at running. I mean, you know, I'm stunned. You know, I got my got my Supreme jacket on, my off-white pants. Not as good as me, though. You know, I gotta run through these instances. Holy crap, my legs are shaking. Don't collapse on your way home, yeah. man. Later. All right, we need to water our plant. Hey. Seriously, it doesn't. Gotta keep going. I right, don't. I'll know what as soon as I see your grades. Want to prove you're turning over a new leaf? Make studying a habit of second nature as breathing. All right, we'll do. Desolate since there's nothing in here. <laughs> I, got I got a good idea. Bring me that chair, the one in the corner. Okay, what are you gonna do with this? Reset the beans and stuff and stand on the chair, right? What do you want me to hang myself? Dude, what the fuck? Uh, it looks dirty. 
that's what you worry about. Don't sweat the small stuff. Anyway, let's train by using the ceiling beam. We're leaving it to you in charge. You need to train by too. Oh, dude, we got to do some pull-ups. <laughs> what are you talking about? I respond to you if I just respond to you. I just respond, Alley the Cat. <laughs> <laughs> I try to be nice and cordial. I try to respond like I know you on a personal level. <laughs> Very personal level at that. <laughs> oh. Okay, then you buy some plant nutrients. Why don't you try using them? Yeah, let's actually use these plant nutrients real quick. These are some reasonable price nutrients. This ought to bring the life back into the plant. To the kindness. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Whoa. That should do for a while. Oh wow. All right. We're not going to read this chat. Alright, since that is taken care of, we get to read some books. Mm. Read a good book. Reading. Okay, cool. Increase that knowledge. Making all types of gains. for something make sure you close up yeah we'll make sure we don't mess up the anything we'll head on home bye sakura the lone pirate ship sail forward forging its own path through the crushing waves Houston's kid monkey d luffy wow. the pirate captain kid ryuji should read this book ryuji ain't gonna read no book i'm gonna keep it real ryuji would not read that Realize how long it's been reading. Where'd you get into it? Yeah, we got like halfway, I want to say. Seems like he still has some pages left. You should continue some other time. Yeah, we'll do that. Four twenty, blaze it, YOLO, guys. It's Wednesday. <laughs> We're actually about to go into the first dungeon, so perfect timing. <laughs> We haven't done anything except for uh, get Lady on her persona. Damn, finish reading the book. Nice place to read a book, don't you think? Yes, we will finish reading this book today, right now, guys. Hmm? Pirate made a toast celebrating, revealing to celebrate their ceremony. AKA Jinbei laying down the sake cup in front of Big Mom, and she was like, NANI! And Jinbei was like, life and she was like death and then he was like you gotta be unwavering of any yonko if you're planning to be underneath the crew of the pirate king oh big mom was pissed anyway moving around moving away from that <laughs> unlike unlike he was this kid in one piece who got his ass handed by kaido we're, we're, we're just gonna leave that alone <laughs> He's this kid got that ass beat, man. Oh. Alright, we finished reading the Pirate Legend. <laughs> Love how Captain Kid was the leader of a ragtag group of outlaws. Like, killer! You must have learned about the curves after reading Captain Kid's Inside Adventures. Yeah, boy. Increasing them goods. Alright. Smuzz at the station and say most efficient use of her time. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. All right. Ugh. Spent way too much on new clothes this month. Now I'm broke. Why? Why? Why would you do that? Like, why didn't you even budget your money? Just budget the money and you'll be fine. Guess you're getting yourself a job. Those job magazines they have at the train station are useful. Maybe I swim by Shapoya Underground and pick up one after school. Then again, works for losers. I'll have to find something easy. 
Can Luffy read? Um, I want to say he can. Like, I honestly want to say Luffy can read. I think there's been like one instance he has to read or read something. But I could be wrong. I could really be wrong. It's like, like, I am 25% sure he can read. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Man, we need some cash. We mean thug. Thug, go hustle for me. <laughs> Why are you bringing that up now? Well, we can get all kinds of sort of weapons and meds and shit now. But we can't actually buy any if we ain't got the guac. We just need to earn some. Don't make it sound easy. Dude, we're going to a dungeon. It's gonna be easy. As long as you get a part time job. I don't know. I feel like it. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm in class. Sorry. I gotta leave the chat for now. See ya. Wait. Wait. He didn't. Man, Thug. Thug be on some. Thug be cool, man. Thug be cool. Alright, after school, let's go ahead and change that book real quick. If we sell the stuff we find in the palace, we can make some quick scratch for the war funds. It means some quick guac, man. But Lady An said a part-time job might be it. Uh, Morgana, we like it easier than doing that, okay? There's job magazine. So, booyah. Maybe you should pick one up. We already did that. So, let's transition. Let's go to that library real quick. <clears throat> but yeah, Luffy being able to read is really up in the air when it comes to that one. He possibly can, but we know damn well he can't draw. <laughs> we know that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> come on, come on, come! Pow! I know, right? Luffy would attack a book if you if you actually used it on him. Be like, no, no, the book is too strong. I am losing. It's kind of like when he had to draw the um the Straw Hat Pirate logo. <laughs> like his first time, and Usopp was like, "What the fuck are you doing, dude? This looks terrible." <laughs> Or the logo that he put on the boom, <laughs> dude, dude. Oh, dude, Luffy. Luffy has problems when it comes to everything in his life, but he at least tries. He at least tries. So we'll give him that. All right, I'm trying to find a library again. I can never find this thing. In fact, it's probably on like the second floor, maybe even the third. Who knows? All right, so where is this library that we that we could not find yesterday, and now even having a harder time finding today? <laughs> okay, there it is. There it is. Cool. So, what floor are we on? Third floor. All right, third floor is always a library, so we need to remember remember that. But yeah, Luffy reading. There's a chance he can. Well, okay, he can, okay he possibly can. Because he looked at his bounty. And I, I understand that b reading a bounty isn't that hard. But there's a chance that he can possibly somewhat read. But he's not proficient at it. Because he did leave off like two zeros on his last bounty. Well, maybe three. Because his bounty went from like 700, 700, 755 mil to like what? 150,000 150, he said? But in reality, it was a uh, one bill, one point five billion. As I'm trying to do this shit off my, off the top of my head with Luffy's um, with Luffy's bounty, but it's roughly in those numbers. I know. No, no, no. Shh. No spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> but yes, that is her. She's just kind of chilling there. You want to pick up something else? Uh, let's pick up the Book of Zoro. Zoro the Outlaw. I love how the gentle bandit read about on a gentleman. Zoro ain't no gentleman. <laughs> what he did to Monet was not gentleman like at all. <laughs> Alright, be careful with this. Zoro the Outlaw sounds interesting. Yeah, that one's actually related to Morgana. They don't know. Yeah, no one knows. Alright, we picked up our book. Let's actually hit up that instance palace, is what I meant to say. Alright. Money, money, money. Alright, we need to go to the rooftop. Mm -hmm. So we can't get past. Did we go the other way then? To get there? 
Because we need to get to the roof so that we can talk to uh, Thug and Lady On. <coughs> Third floor. Halfway. So I think it's down here that we can still mm -hmm. go up. Yep. Here we go. As it's raining, it's a great day to go robbing, guys. Anyway, what are we up to today? Excuse me. Dude, that's some straight up hood life right there. Standing outside in the rain being like, how can we plot to, you know, take over the world? <laughs> Hope y'all understand that our timeline is May 2nd. We basically like just have to go to the treasure castle. To that castle and steal the com treasure from Kamashita, right? But wait. What even is a treasure? I don't want I wanna know that before we do anything. Listen up. A treasure is the physical form of the palace ruler's distorted desires. Okay, yeah, I'll take that, I'll take that. In other words, it's the core of the palace. Once you steal it, the palace will crumble, I think. <laughs> dot dot dot. I think. I need more than I thinks here. Having said all that, even I don't know what coming to the treasure is going to be. And where can we find it? <sighs> There's no way of knowing that until we go in and try to find it. Yes, the weather does affect it. I want to say when flu season and dust season are in, it does affect the gameplay. But strangely enough, I've never been in any part of the game during any of those seasons. Because <laughs> I have beat it. I'm just trying not to do any spoilers while I'm trying to play through it. But I guess I, if I had to ask, if I had to guess, I'd say that he has a lock it up some locked up somewhere in the depths of the palace. Because um. I'll talk about it after this cutscene. After this, I'll discuss like there's like one thing you can do that actually help you if you want to do some level grinding. I think I get it now. It's just gotta find the treasure, yeah. <clears throat> Pretty much, there's just a lot of we don't know until we go in yeah. mentality. In any case, our objective is to find the treasure's location somewhere in the palace. Make sure you go about this with time to spare so we can avoid any unforeseen circumstances. I expect great things from you guys. All right. And continue forward to that. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna save again. But yeah, there is a point where you can use I think it's flu season to help you fight off the God, what does that do? Like the Grim Reaper that's in the in the subway. Because he's so powerful, you can just use flu season to help you beat him. Because it's like after so many turns there's a possibility he'll catch it and then die. Or something along that lines. I don't know. I just I, I actually never did it, strangely enough. <clears throat> but yeah, that's one thing that the weather does and helps with. Alright, okay, let's go. Let's, let's infiltrate go. this palace. Let's do this. Y'all gotta see what it's like to uh, do a one shot of a palace. <laughs> but damn. Dude, he looked at Lady On and was like Damn, girl, those jeans, that cat suit, them. What's up? Nothing. I was just thinking we should choose a code name for you too. Oh, okay, that's what you were thinking. A code name? I'm Skull. He's Joker, and that's Mona. No, that is Thug. That's Joker, and that's Mona. We're sticking to it, guys. Judging by your costume. I mean, she's got that tail and stuff, so... What do you think? Sexy cat. Wait! Is that what you're going to call me from now on? I am so not down with this! <laughs> what do you want to be called then? Um, something better than just a little cat. Mm -hmm. Just up oh, better than a little Maybe cat. Panther? Panther Lily from Fairy Tale. That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Mm, yeah, I would give it to her. I'd give it to her on that one. Huh? Why? Cause it sounds more ferocious. <laughs> yeah, Mona is like, what do you say to my lady? <laughs> Dude, he was side eyeing me. She's a cougar. If Mona is like four years old, okay, we're not gonna continue that story. I, as soon as I said it, it just it was gonna end terribly. Moving on, moving on. 
<laughs> nah, Mona turns into Panther Lily. He looks like Panther Lily. Don't call me that. Panther Lily with big old head. Kamoshida. Oh, right. Let's go. I mean, technically, she is a cougar to Mona. Just saying. All right. Awkward. Let's start saying. fresh and get going. It's game time from this point forward. I'll teach you guys the basics of infiltrating a palace as we go. <coughs> what the fuck? Nani? Justine? I honestly cannot tell My which one is which. Like a word with you. Okay, the one with the long ponytail is Justine. And the one with the circles, that's Caroline, correct? Like, I just have the hardest time remembering them. Like, I remember their names. I just don't remember which one is which. The prisoner has returned. Yeah. Well done. It seems you have remembered my words. Yes, Igor. With the most badass voice in the entire game. You truly make it worth rehabilitating you. Mm, yeah, I never asked for this, dude. Shut your mouth and listen, inmate. <laughs> Caroline, I'm gonna need you to calm down. I'm gonna need you to calm down right now. <laughs> I am not attempting to withhold information from you. Flip off Igor. No. <laughs> no. Igor's actually cool. <laughs> the essence of the rehabilitation that you must complete will be explained in due time. If we had enough guts, we pro like if you do another playthrough, they give you an option where they say that you don't have enough guts to call out Igor, you possibly can do it. You could possibly do something outrageous to him in the very beginning. Once you encounter friends who share your aesthetics and discover your place in reality, only then will I explain it all. Explain it all. Such a day should not be far off. This time, I wish to introduce you to the aid we are providing. Yes, what aid are you providing me in this jail cell? Due to your potential in wielding the power of the wild card, you can handle more than one persona. Yes, that this power more holds more. infinite possibilities. We will assist you in nurturing that potential. To that end, we must execute your persona. Ah, uh, ex execute? What? 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 <laughs> Do not be alarmed. Personas are personalities that exist within you. Thus, you will only be discarding old personalities to have them be reborn as new ones. Reborn! <laughs> Hitman Reborn. If any of y'all have ever watched that or read that, it's actually pretty good. Surprisingly. I mean, yes, it has like its draw points and it gets kind of weird. But anyway, by discarding your identity, you give way to a new one. Hence, we call the process execution style. Think about his fusion of your personas. Now then, let's try the actual persona fusion. I'm glad I actually captured a lot of them. Like I actually, I think I captured every one I saw, at least one of them. Ah, uh, shit. Which one do we want? All right, devil and a hermit. Cause I know we need a cherry on our hair fit soon. I know that's what's up. <laughs> Wrong size! Some fries! Surprise! <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, let's actually. Hmm? Let's take a persona to tell you something greatly important. Do you remember how I mentioned forming bonds for confidants? Personas are the power of the heart. The stronger the bond, the stronger your persona will be. Alright, cool. In other words, the effect of your bonds on execution or fusion, if you will, are quite substantial. If you use persona that share the kind of with one of your bonds, your great power. Yeah, this is going to be the rough part of this right now. <laughs> Getting this correct. This is a guiding principle for when you for a fusion. Try not to forget it. Moreover, there's one thing I must warn you about. You cannot create a persona that surpasses your current level. How about that? This is because the resulting persona will be too powerful for you to handle efficiently. Now then, check the fusion results and choose a persona that suits your... Alright. So, in reality, we do need a chariot. <laughs> we do need a chariot. But I believe... 
I want to say we'll be able to capture. We're going to capture a lot of these while we're in there. So we can't actually. We can't make any of these to begin with. So real tall. Uh, lover. Yeah, we, we need that one too. Then they can do skill inheritance. By making use of this, you'll be able to grant personas that natural cannot attain. But of course, there's no need to think of that. For the time being, select wherever you want. Alright, we actually can't fuse anything worthwhile. I mean, we could fuse the pixie, which has lightning damage. And we are not fusing it with um, arsenic. We're, we're just not. That That's insane. <laughs> like, even though I'm not going to really use it too much, I don't think. But still, that's insane to do that right now. Yeah, we'll just we'll just roll with this. We'll roll with what we got. Should really fuse that with something. Fine as a level 10. Anyway, we'll go catch some of this stuff. Really? Dude, I can't not leave without doing it. Oh my god, guys, hold on a moment. I have to figure out this one out. Okay, this is not gonna end well. <laughs> if only I was level six, if only I was one level higher, we could actually do something smarter. Because we already have a bike horn, so we don't. There's no reason to actually double up on that. Yellow, we're doubling up on it. Hold up. Pixie. Lightning. Alright, well... Shit. Oh man, if we were level 6, this would be so much better than what we're about to have to do. Not terrible. But not impressive. God, I already hold that persona. Ugh. God, is honestly, if we were level six, this would be a lot better than how to uh, use this one to get this. Not terrible. But not impressive. All right, whatever. We have to do it that way. Choose the inherited skills, inmate. Yeah, we'll go. It will receive right a fraction of power. Yeah, go ahead. I did not want to have to do that. <laughs> I did not want to have to use those two personas. But I'll take it. We'll remake him later. <laughs> All right, here we go. We gotta gotta sacrifice. <laughs> this stuff be looking brutal. <laughs> like this is not brutal at all. And off with the heads. Just to get this, which is kind of not worth it. We'll take it for now, though. Because we could not do anything else because I was one level too shy. Alright. All right. Cool, cool, cool. We'll go from here. It was the only choice we could make. Ah, how impressive. A stronger persona has been born from the body and blood of the old. It shall be your new strength. Its worth will be made clearer when you return to the field of battle. Gather personas and bring them here. Gather a great many, execute them, and continue to give birth to even stronger personas. Stronger, faster. Better persona. Developing your powers as such will play an integral role in the stand against ruin. 
So that your rehabilitation goes well, we have a variety of rituals to choose in regard to execution. Rituals of execution. Mm. Man, these people are savages when it comes to that. The effort you put in, our master might consider further development of new rituals. Cry your tears of joy, inmate. <laughs> Cry tears of joy for this? <laughs> okay, we're watching people be sacrificed. Your heart is steadily gaining the strength of rebellion. It seems your rehabilitation is proceeding smoothly. A joyous fact indeed. In anticipation of this, I have prepared a gift for you. I hope that you shall accept it. Deeper connection, Igor. Hmm, okay, cool. We're gonna be we're gonna be spamming that, just so you know. But yeah, it was a terrible choice, but it was the only choice we could make. That is a thief's skill, allowing one to tap into their sixth sense <laughs> and see what is hidden in the dark. I believe you can handle it now. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Rehabilitation. Now then, if you have any requests, we will heed them. But yeah, just to... Since we're one level shy, we could not actually... No slacking off. We could not actually pick a different one. Because, yeah, that would have been... It would have been better if we were level 6. And of all things... Wait, hold on. Let's actually get this wrong? Console. You were just standing around all of a sudden. I was doing other things with my friends. <laughs> Like I wasn't moving. Really. Why are you spacing out like that? It's kind of hard to tell what you're thinking sometimes. Let's just say he's a man of high caliber. High caliber. We're counting on you, Joker. Just like my gun. In my pocket. <clears throat> but yeah, just to... Hey. So we're set safe room. We last found our first floor in the West Building. It's pretty close to user interest. It should be pretty decent starting point. Mm -hmm. Safe room. Let's go. Makes sense where you see it. Well, let's head out. Quick travel. We're not exactly quick travel today. Safer. We should, but we should actually actually fight. That'd probably be smarter. We're not gonna do that. We could do this by ourselves. We don't need help from the thieves guild. 